Readers, hello, Mr. Laval here. I want to talk to you guys about characters a little bit deeper and I uh, want to get into um, another way that we can think about characters. We can talk about characters as protagonists or antagonists. Okay, I want you to say protagonist on three, one, two, three. And I want you to say antagonist on three, one, two, three. All right, let's talk about what that means. These are very uh, kind of fancy ways of talking about characters. A protagonist is really a, a really fancy way of saying the hero of the story, um, the good guy or the good girl, right? And they're usually the main character of the story. They represent good. The antagonist is just the opposite. The antagonist is the villain of the story. Um, again, they're, they're probably a main character, just like a protagonist is, and they represent evil. So again, you have the protagonist, the good guy, the good girl, the hero, and the antagonist, who's the villain. And there is a rivalry um, in most realistic fiction stories between the protagonist and the antagonist, okay? And here you can see on this example up in the corner, guys, protagonist versus antagonist. Uh, we can see Simba in the movie Lion King. He's a, the, the good guy. Um, he has some type of problem that needs to be solved. And he's a main character. Then we have Scar, his uncle, his evil uncle. It's Simba's enemy. He is the villain. And he stands in the way of what Simba's trying to get. So the good guy always wants something in realistic fiction. And there's a bad guy or bad girl or villain standing in the way. Some other examples that you guys are going to be familiar with. Again, we just talked about Simba being the protagonist, the hero. And Scar being the villain, the antagonist. You think about Batman and Joker. Uh, Batman is the good guy. Joker is the villain. So Batman is the protagonist. Joker is the antagonist. Think about a book that we read this year and read aloud, Andrew Clements, No Talking. Dave and Lindsay um, were, were kind of, um, even though they were kind of enemies with each other at times, but they're the heroes. They're the kind of protagonists. They're representing kids and being able to uh, do what they want to do and play the game. And Mrs. Hyatt's kind of like the villain, right? She doesn't want them to do that. And she's in, insisting that they talk in school and she represents evil in that story. So um, this idea, again, a protagonist and antagonist, we do see this a lot in realistic fiction. What I want you guys to do today is read your realistic fiction book, read it for 30 minutes. And then I want you to think about your characters. Is there a protagonist? Is there a good guy or girl in the story? Is there a hero in the story? Is there an antagonist, okay? A bad guy, bad girl, a villain. Your assignment today, I want you to do this today and tomorrow. Um, I want you to think about, again, protagonist and antagonist, and I want you to write in your thoughtful log about the protagonist and antagonist in your story. What do we know about each of them? And what does the protagonist want? Usually that protagonist wants something. They're after something. And how is the antagonist getting in their way? So that's going to be your job as you work today, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today and tomorrow. Have some fun analyzing characters a little bit deeper.